Hello, hello. Welcome, everybody. Um, thank you, everyone, for tuning in. We are starting on a new playthrough of Mass Effect. I haven't played this in ages, actually. Um, so, yeah. Let's jump right in, I guess. Hey Doodle! Welcome. <laughs> Best viewers and followers on... Huh? What were the stars? <laughs> Smell. Welcome to Alliance Military Database. Classified information requested. Establishing secure connection. Secure connection confirmed. Of that intro. <laughs> it's a good intro. Okay. So I'm gonna um <laughs> I'm gonna um, make a custom character, of course. Please log in to access your profile. Look at them characters. Well, you know what I gotta put in. The silly AI voice over Maxwell. God damn it! Thanks, Maxwell. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's always got to be Ed. I, I think every game I play, if I get the option to put a name in, it's going to have to be Ed, isn't it? Uh, saved by a passing Alliance patrol, or. Following my parents' footsteps, or escaped a life of petty crime. I think I'm going to go with colonist. Confirm psychological profile. <laughs> Get me into a femship cosplay so fast. That would be difficult and expensive. <laughs> but I, I like, I kind of like that idea. In certain ways. Uh, Yeah, um, I'm gonna go with yeah, Soul Survivor. I think that's the one I like. Oh uh, yeah, I've tried making cosplay stuff before. I made a bionicle mask out of foam. That was fun. Now, I always like the idea of all these extra abilities, and then I always forget to use them. To be honest. Um, Think. Nah, I, I want. I do want a bit of biotics. Actually, I'm going to go with Vanguard. I, I kind of always do that, but I'm going. I'm going with it anyway. <laughs> Fem Shep is your idol. Yeah, Fem Shep is very cool. I always play as Fem Shep. Mostly, to be honest, mostly because her voice actor is just better um uh, assault rifles Confirm i guess facial identification change that was some side eye we got there ah uh, the mass effect one faces i love how they all have like a really kind of sort of similar mouth um but yeah
I can't tell what this looks like. What do you think, guys? To be honest, I kind of liked that one. I think ED would be there-ish. I like the freckles. I'll keep the freckles. Yeah, very slight differences in facial stru structure. How did I go? I accidentally click on nose. I think I did. She keeps like turning her head too far. Stick your head there, and let me no, like here. No not no like like in the middle. Like there. Let me see. Let me see them cheeks. There. <laughs> She's shy. <laughs> yeah. Here's orientation. Flying. This is how I go around space. This is how we fly through space in Mass Effect. We flap. Okay, now look at me. Look straight. Oh, that's what I did. I clicked on like that. All right, that's weird. Oh well. Eyes. Eye shape. Look at me. Stop moving your head around. <laughs> look at the camera. Look into my eyes. Uh, if I'm honest, yeah, the, the first eye shape kind of looks... Looks the best to me, I think. You see. <laughs> oh. Oh, you say, do you? You say. Iris color. Can we do pink? Oh wait, no, e eyes are blue. Well, that's easy, but we can do pink. That is, that is an option. Let's go with there. Uh, ooh, is that like purpley? That's kind of cool. Look at me. I want to see your eyes. That one, I guess. <laughs> it's really hard to like get everything right. Okay, mouth shape seven is probably one that I like. I'm seeing that number change down here, like the little seven there. That's how I'm remembering it. slightly lopsided kind of smirky 
<laughs> Not gonna lie. I kind of like it. <laughs> Me when social interaction. Yeah, god damn it. Make eye contact for goodness sake. Stop looking completely in the other direction. <laughs> Okay, I kind of like that one, actually. Well, that one's kind of smirky as well. No, I'm going with that one. That's pretty fun. The other when as me. Oh! <laughs> when, when, social interaction. There you go. Now I've, I've, I've read it correctly now. see noises. <laughs> you like Krabby Patties, don't you, Squidward? <laughs> Jaw! Kind of like the wide jaws. Makes me feel more like a soldier, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Oh wait, nose. Haven't done nose. What are the nose shapes? <laughs> uh, Edie's probably gonna have a big nose, right? Nah. Keep send you keep sending the smooch. Blush looks... the blush kind of always looks a bit weird. That one, I guess. Oh, come on, you've got to do the black lipstick. This looks a lot like, um, Negasonic Teenage Warhead from Deadpool right now. <laughs> All I have to do is find some yellow armour. I actually have a scar on my chin there. It was well, more like under my chin, there. I guess that kind of... It's almost in the same place. <laughs> Pirate scar. Yar. Kind of want to go for that one, to be honest. Hair. I really quite like the kind of pattern that's shaved into this. It's pretty cool. 
It is tempting, actually. I like the little flicky bits on the fringe. And the rest of them are kind of like meh, to be honest, so... Actually might go with this. Oh yeah, it's all coming together. <laughs> Oh, is my microphone... Yeah, my microphone's, like, peeking out quite often as well. That's a bit annoying. Have you noticed it, like, clipping a lot? One sec. I'm just going to slightly turn it down. Whoops. You haven't noticed? Oh, okay. Well... Oh. All right, maybe I'll turn it slightly back up again. Also, didn't realise I was accidentally, like, sharing my Steam window. So let me switch this to a game capture. Yeah, that should work. Sometimes the emotes, the, the redeems are quite loud. Yeah, uh, they're quite loud for me too. But that's because the um, the other thing I was doing before was um, not showing up. Okay, game capture doesn't actually capture the game, which is helpful. I'll try it with a window capture instead. No, that doesn't work. All right, it's going to have to be display capture. Damn, I just have to remember not to do too many things on my screen that aren't the game. Anyway, um, I think... Oh wait, uh, hair colour. Can we do pink? Hell yeah we can. <laughs> That's actually kind of cool. We can have pink eyebrows too. <laughs> I wish there were more cool hairstyles in um, uh, Mass Effect 1, because, I mean, there's this one, which is kind of cool. Oh, actually, I like the the side of that. That's actually pretty cool. Pretty sweet. And then you've got all the standard ones, which are very... I, I don't know, so many of these hairstyles are kind of frumpy. <laughs> and, like... Yeah. I mean, I guess you can say, oh, it's uh, future fashion. But, meh. I like that one. I like this one. It's good. Finalize! That's enough messing about. Let's get on with it, shall we? Uh, yeah, keep all that. I probably don't need the two. Well, actually, I might. <laughs> it's been long enough since I played this, I've forgotten all the controls. So. Might actually leave the tutorials on. Here we go. Well, what about Shepard? She grew up in the colonies. She knows how tough life can be out there. Her parents were killed when slavers attacked Mindwar. She saw her whole unit die on a cruise. She could have some serious emotional scars. Every and facial ones. Scars. Shepard's a survivor. Is that the kind of person we want protecting the galaxy? 
That's the only kind of person who can protect the galaxy. I'll make the call. No, why would you do this? Oh, you ruined the moment. <laughs> I was just enjoying the music. <laughs> Prime relays in range. You're such a troll. Transmission sequence. <laughs> Love this music. We are connected. Calculate <laughs> transmission. <laughs> Relay is hot. Acquiring approach vector. All stations secure for transit. I didn't have to bump into that person, did I really? <laughs> this is where it gets good. Hitting the relay in three, two, one. So cool. Thrusters, check. Navigation, check. Internal emissions sync engaged. All systems online. Drift, just under 1500k. I'm the Joker, baby. 1500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. Your captain will be pleased. Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The Council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the <laughs> official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. Joker's a 4chan user. You're well, overreacting. The worst. Well, bad feelings are an occupational hazard. But we don't go anywhere unless there's a good reason, so... What are we doing here? Joker! Status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth systems engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Ethan Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. <laughs> Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the comm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? He sounds angry. Something must have gone wrong with the mission. <laughs> Captain always sounds like that. Hey, Seth Green. Can't possibly imagine why. How's your apes? What's... What does how's your apes mean? Is that a reference to him, uh, doing Donkey Kong? Was, was it him that did Donkey Kong? No, wait, that was Seth Rogen. I get the two mixed up sometimes. Crazy. The captain's in charge here. He wouldn't take orders from a Spectre. Not his choice, Doc. Spectres don't answer to anyone. They can do whatever they want. Kill anyone who gets in their way. Oh, you watch too many spy vids, Jenkins. Yeah, Jenkins. Dumbass. You love people who kill everyone who get in their way. It's the first thing he does. Not kill. <laughs> the other thing. Hey, Nihilus. Uh, that's the wrong button. How do I? How do I talk? Oh. Commander Shepard. It did it for me. Oh, Seth Green invested into board eight NFTs. Oh my god, he really is a 4chan user or something. Sorry, taking a little sippy. Captain said he'd meet me here. He's on his way. 
I'm interested in this world we're going to. Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. So are you. They say it's a paradise. Yes, a paradise. Serene, tranquil, safe. Eden Prime has become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? <laughs> is that a threat? Why are you, you asking? Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? <laughs> Alright, uh, thanks, Macbearer. I appreciate the, your presence, anyway. <laughs> What's going on? On. Someone gonna fill me in, Captain. We're making a covert pickup. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. Hiding things from me. There must be a reason you didn't tell me about this, sir. This comes down from the top, Commander. Information strictly on a need-to-know basis. A research team on Eden Prime unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. Prothean? I thought the Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. Their legacy still remains. The mass relays, the Citadel, our ship drives. It's all based on Prothean technology. This is Big Shepard. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. Bring home this the bacon. Your human interest, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. Oh my gosh! Yeah, you're right. Those dinosaurs are like dancing along to the music. I'm just watching them now. <laughs> Love it. Uh, yeah, I have to read things now. Why didn't we keep the beacon for ourselves? You humans don't have the best reputation. Some species see you as selfish, too unpredictable, too independent, even dangerous. Sharing that beacon will improve relations with the Council. Plus, we need their scientific expertise. They know more about the Protheans than we do. The beacon's not the only reason I'm here, Shepard. Nihilus wants to see you in action, Commander. He's here to evaluate you. Like hell he is. Uh, what? What's going on, Captain? The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. Not what, what, what's going on? On. You showed a remarkable will to live. A particularly useful talent. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. You put my name forward? Why would a Turian want a human in the Spectres? Not oh. all Turians resent humanity. Some of us see the potential of your species. We see what you have to offer to the rest of the galaxy. And to the Spectres. We are an elite group. <laughs> it's rare to find an individual with the skills we seek. I don't care that you're human, Shepard. I only care that you can do the job. I completely missed the context for whatever you just typed there, Doodle, and I don't understand what you're referencing. <laughs> so, I, yeah, completely out of context. Slightly unhinged message. <laughs> In a good way. Uh, what's the next step? I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. I sure you hope so, dude. Well. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. I'm ready to go. We should be getting close to Eden Prime. Captain, we got a problem. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Bring it up on screen. Ruh -roh. We are under attack, taking heavy casualties. I repeat, heavy casualties. We can't. Ah. 
get evac! They came out of nowhere! We need... Oh, I know. Everything cuts out after that. No comm traffic at all. It just goes dead. There's nothing. Reverse and hold the 38.5. So, I mean, he was like counting the seconds throughout that whole transmission so that he knows where 38.5 is. Take us into the fast and quiet. This mission just got a lot more complicated. A small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention. It's our best chance to secure the beacon. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Tell Alenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going right, chance to be awesome. Engaging stealth systems. Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. You're a secondary objective. Nihilus, you coming with us? I move faster on my own. Nihilus will scout out ahead. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. You can That's count on that, us. Captain. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck. I'll definitely keep him alive. Ship perimeter secure, Commander. Okay. Hostiles everywhere. Keep your guard up. Nice, nice. Hmm. Yes, I am remembering the controls. Jenkins. Nice. Where did Jenkins go? Maybe we should check on Jenkins. Oh, there he is. That's not the right one. I think I threw a grenade. How do I investigate? What's the button? There's the grenade. Whoops. Which which it has it hasn't told me which button interacts yet. Um so let me just check. <laughs> Why wouldn't it tell me that one? Uh key bindings. Use left shift. Is it, is it left shift, really? Okay. Rip right through his shields. We're at a chance. We'll see that he receives a proper service once the mission is complete. But I need you to stay focused. Aye, aye, man. Yeah, Caden. Stop getting out of focus. I've got some burned out buildings here, 
Shepard. A lot of bodies. Okay. All right, so I can equip the sniper rifle, but I don't know how to use it. I'm pretty sure the uh, assault rifle is the one I do know how to use. I haven't missed anything, have I? Don't think so. Keyboard I'm using. No, I'm Vanguard, so I've got um, some assault control as well. Yeah. Where was that? There you are. Good thing I'm in the tutorial and it doesn't really matter if I'm terrible. Gosh, I'm out of practice with this game. I had the option to pick Assault or Sniper Rifle, so I picked Assault. Oh no! Chief Ashley Williams of the 212. You the one in charge here, ma'am? <laughs> I can use shotguns as well. Oh, okay, cool. Are you okay? Are you wounded, Williams? A few scrapes and burns. Nothing serious. The others weren't so lucky. Oh, man. We were patrolling the perimeter when the attack hit. We tried to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communications. I've been fighting for my life ever since. Where's the rest of your squad? We tried to double back to the beacon, but we walked into an ambush. I don't think any of the others... I think I'm the only one left. You abandoned them! <laughs> uh... What killed them? Any idea what kind of enemy we're facing? I think they're Geth. The gunnery chief of no consequence? <laughs> Why are they here now? I don't know. They must have come for the beacon. I'll make sure she faces Just some consequences. It might still be there. We all have consequences. Uh, You're take coming us with there. Us, Williams. We need that beacon. Aye, aye, ma'am. It's time for payback. Uh, seen Ninus? Have you seen a Turian Spectre around here? There aren't any Turians on Eden Prime. None that I've ever met. Not sure I'd be able to tell if one was a Spectre anyway. If you saw this guy, you'd know. Carries enough firepower to wipe out a whole platoon. Luckily, he's on our side. Sorry. Like I said, no Turians. Okay. Move up! Yeah, um, I forgot to... turn on the thing that does the... Head pats. So I'll do it myself. Fine, I'll do it myself. <laughs> no Turians. <laughs> Equipment. What's everybody doing? Nobody has any equipment, so never mind, eh? Oh, I have three points to use. Um, uh... Yes. 
Yeah, I don't seem to have shotguns yet. I'll have to unlock them later. Oh. Um. Assault rifle. Okay. What about you? He hasn't got any. Ashley has some. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Sure, I'll... Yep. I'm taking cover. Done. Nice shooting that rock, dude. You're doing so good. Hi. Oh, hello. Well, that went fine. Ooh. Stuff. This is the dig site. The beacon was right here. It must have been moved. By who? Our side or the Geth? Hard to say. Maybe we'll know more after we check out the research camp. Yeah. Uh, let's go there. For the camp. It's just on the top of this ridge, up the ramps. Change of plans, Shepard. There's a small spaceport up ahead. I want to check it out. I'll wait for you there. You're a small spaceport. Remember to use your biotics. Oh yeah, wait. Uh, I have warp and throw. Yes, I do need to remember those. Oh wait, I can do this as well. That's the thing I can do. Yeah, nice. Looks like they hit the camp hard. It's a good place for an ambush. Well, I'm gonna hit them hard. Oh god, they're still alive. What did the Geth do to them? They just made them spicy. Turned them into spicy boys. Spicy humans. That door is closed. Security locks engaged. I'm good at security locking. Uh Yep. Thank the Maker. Hurry, close the door before they come back. You're safe, dude. Don't it's worry. okay. We'll protect you. I have a I gun. We'll be okay now. It looks like everyone's gone. You're Dr. Warren, the one in charge of the excavation. Do you know what happened to the beacon? It was moved to the spaceport this morning. Manuel and I stayed behind to help pack up the camp. When the attack came, the Marines held them off long enough for us to hide. They gave their lives to save us. 
No one is saved. The age of humanity is ended. Soon, only ruin and corpses will remain. Um, yeah, you sound... sane. Seen Nihilus? Did you notice a Turian in the area? I saw him. <laughs> He's not wrong. The leader of the enemy. He was here before the attack. That's impossible. Nihilus was with us in the Normandy before the attack. He couldn't have been here. I I'm sorry. Manuel's still a bit unsettled. We haven't seen your Turian. We've been hiding in here since the attack. Williams, take us to the okay, space. Hey, bye. You can't stop it. Nobody can stop it. Night is falling. The darkness of eternity. Hush, Manuel. Go lie down. You'll feel better once the medication kicks in. Ah, uh, Manuel's off his meds. I wonder if he touched the beacon somewhat. I'm liking this square on the floor. Like, where did he get those visions from or whatever? Saren. It's like, oh, hey, I'm the totally not evil guy. This isn't your mission, Saren. What are you doing here? The Council thought you could use some help on this one. I wasn't expecting to find the Geth here. The situation's bad. Don't worry. I've got it under control. Oh no! What is Oh it? no! Damn. That's a biggie squiddy. Where's the rest of them gone? Oh, there's one right there. Hello. Okay, good, he died. I ain't afraid of no single geth. I'm fine. Um, so, yeah. That happened. Commander. Nihilus. Well, he seems to be dead. Something's moving over behind those crates. Wait! Don't! Don't shoot! I'm one of you! I'm human! You need to be more careful. Sneaking up on us like that nearly got you killed. I, I am sorry. I was hiding from those creatures. You'll be dead. My name's Pal. I saw what happened to that Turian. The other one shot him. Huh? I need to know how Nihilus died. The other one got here first. He was waiting when your friend showed up. He, he called him Saren. I, I think they knew each other. <laughs> your friend seemed to relax. He let his guard down. And Saren killed him. Shot him right in the back. I'm just lucky he didn't see me behind the crates. What about the bacon? We were told a Prothean beacon was brought to the spaceport. What happened to it? It's over on the other platform. Probably where that guy Saren was headed. He hopped on the cargo train right after he killed your friend. I knew that beacon was trouble. Everything's gone to hell since we found it. First that damn mothership showed up, then the attack. They killed everyone. Everyone. If I hadn't been behind the crates, I'd be dead too. How come you're the only one who survived? Why didn't anyone else try to hide? Like a shot every time somebody says crates. Never had a <laughs> I, I, I was already behind the crates when the attack started. Wait a minute. You were hiding behind the crates before the attack? That's I, three. Or four. Sometimes I need a nap to get through my shift. I, 
I sneak off behind the crates to grab 40 winks. Five. Can't yep, getting drunk very quickly. You survive because you're lazy? Lucky for you, yeah, dude. Snuck off for that nap, you'd probably be dead just like all the others. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. I don't really want to think about it. Anything else? Bacon. Tell me about the bacon. Tell me about the bacon. Tell me about the bacon. Here this morning. We loaded it up onto the train and shipped it to the other platform. Hard to believe that was only a few hours ago. Feels like a whole other life. Tell me about this mothership you saw. I I've never seen anything like it before. It... It was huge. Landed over near that platform. The whole place got dark as it came down. And... And it was making this noise, this... This sound that bored right into your brain. That's what woke me up. You're boring me right into my brain. Bye. We need to find that beacon before it's too late. We gotta find that bacon. The cargo train. That's where the other Turian went. I, I, I can't stay here. I need to get away from all this. Enjoy your crates. Um. Do 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 do. Oh, hello. Pistol. Oh, I thought it was that side. Friggin' die. There we go. What are you shooting at? There's something down here then. <laughs> Got him. Here comes a dude. Oh, I'm too far away for that. Darn. Yay, he's gone down. Run, run, run. Shoot one down, another one pops up. Come back! Stick your head up so I can shoot it. No, not gonna. Damn it. Oh, hello. Okay. Is that one dead yet? Where's it gone? There was another one. Which seems to have miraculously disappeared. Okay then, fine. Did I actually get the stuff out of those crates? I don't remember. Yeah, I did. Okay. I said crates as well. We love crates in this game. On a train. That's at least seven, yeah. Set the charges. Destroy the entire colony. Leave no evidence that we were here. You have beautiful eyes. So, you know you said earlier that the beacons are destroyed when somebody absorbs all the information. 
It seems like Saren did. So, and it didn't get destroyed when he used it. Maybe it like just overloads when a human uses it too much or something. So yeah, I'm wondering if Miguel is that, that his name? The Geth must have planted them. Hurry, we need oh, that's the wrong them. thing. That's the wrong button. Let me just throw a grenade at it. That'll help. Good thing that didn't blow it up. <laughs> Can you imagine if you throw a grenade at it and you just lose the mission? Is there one? Wait, did I miss one? I missed one. This one over there. I think it explodes when Shep uses it because Shep is too cool for it. Please? Good thing he sucks at hiding. Punched him. <laughs> not in the middle of a fight. I'm not talking to you, I'm trying to sprint. Why is the sprint button the talk button? Do -do 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 -do. Do, 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 do. Ah! Didn't see that one coming. Oh, hello. Still there. Friggin' die. No! Don't explode me. Nice. Hey, cat girl next door. Welcome, welcome. Nice to see you. <laughs> um, we're right at the end of the first uh, mission of Mass Effect, which uh, has been going slightly embarrassingly at the moment. Really, I mean, I haven't died, but uh, my skill at this game has completely disappeared in the couple of years it's been since I last played it <laughs> storage locker get me the stuff mine Never played this, but watch friends play it. Yeah, it's good. It's good fun. Um, this is Legendary Edition, so it's been sort of like remastered and stuff. Um, and they did a couple of little quality of life changes, which is nice. <laughs> nice to see some like a company put some love into an old game because. the beacon is secure. This is amazing. Actual working Prothean technology. Unbelievable. 
It wasn't doing anything like that when they dug it up. Something must have activated it. Roger, Normandy. Standing by. No, Caden, what are you doing? Why are you doing that funny walk? The pole that makes you dance. Oh yeah. Boom. Oh f I can't believe you've done this. <laughs> Accurate. Yeah, damn it, Caden. It's all your fault. <laughs> we identified the ship that touched down on Eden Prime, the Normandy, a human alliance vessel. It was under the command of Captain Anderson. They managed to save the colony. And the beacon. One of the humans may have used it. The most evil boob window in the whole game. <laughs> this human must be eliminated. Bro went feral. The amount of like gratuitous camera angles in this game is kind of funny as well. They definitely did a lot of it on purpose. <laughs> Dr. Chocolates. I think she's waking up. Dr. Chocolates. You had us work. <laughs> it's part of the charm, yeah. How are you feeling? <laughs> Not great. It's like the morning after shore leave. How long was I out? About 15 hours. Something happened down there with the beacon, I think. It's my fault. I must have triggered some kind of security field when I approached it. You had to push me out of the way. Yeah, Caden, it's your fault. What about the bacon? The That's bacon the most now? important. What happened to it? The beacon exploded. A system overload, maybe. And the blast knocked you cold. Williams and I had to carry you back here to the ship. The bacon exploded. No. My bacon. Um, not a local hospital? I don't suppose it occurred to you that <laughs> crime has medical facilities. Listen, you're better off in this infirmary than in any hospital on Eden Prime. Physically, you're fine. But I detected some unusual brain activity. Abnormal beta waves. I also noticed an increase in your rapid eye movement. Signs typically associated with intense dreaming. Stop bullying, Caden. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Make me. Um, I had so many intense dreams. Not a dream. A vision. I saw... I'm not sure what I saw. Death, destruction... Nothing's really clear. Hmm. I better add this to my report. It may... Oh. Captain Anderson. How's our exo holding up, Doctor? Well, all the readings look normal. I'd say the commander's going to be fine. Glad to hear it. Shepard, I need to speak with you. In private. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll be in the mess if you need me. You are a mess. Get out of here. Sounds like that beacon hit you pretty hard, Commander. Are you sure you're okay? <laughs> I feel bad about Jenkins. I don't like soldiers dying under my command. Jenkins wasn't your fault. You did a good job, Shepard. I feel bad about I Jenkins. Like soldiers dying under my command. Jenkins wasn't your fault. You did a good job, Shepard. I feel bad about Jenkins. Under my command. Jenkins wasn't your fault. You did a good job, Shepard. You're pissed it off about the Geth. We had no <laughs> idea what we were walking into down there. That's why things went to hell. 
The Geth haven't been outside the Vale in two centuries, Commander. Nobody could have predicted this. <laughs> it just feels so bad about Jenkins. Don't care about Williams. Williams can you said you needed to do one. Private, Captain. I won't lie to you, Shepard. Things look bad. Nihilus is dead. The beacon was destroyed and Geth are invading. The Council's going to want answers. I did my job. The Geth would have wiped out the whole colony if I hadn't stopped them. I'll stand behind you and your report, Shepard. You're a damned hero in my books. That's not why I'm here. It's Saren. That other Turian. Saren's a spectre. One of the best. A living legend. But if he's working with the Geth, it means he's gone rogue. A rogue spectre's trouble. Saren's dangerous. And he hates humans. He's a racist! Why? He thinks we're growing too fast, taking over the galaxy. A lot of aliens think that way. Most of them don't do anything about it. But Saren has allied himself with the Geth. I don't know how, I don't know why. I only know it had something to do with that beacon. You it's always about the bacon. Stuff. Did you see anything? Any clue that might tell us what Saren was after? I had a dream. Just before I lost consciousness, I had some kind of vision. A vision? A vision of what? Our death! No, uh... A warning? I saw synthetics. Geth, maybe. Slaughtering people. Butchering them. <laughs> the Polynesian star. <laughs> God. I need to turn those down again. They are getting more and more loud for some reason. <laughs> I think it's because I had to turn them up for something before. Um, yeah, they were too quiet at one point, and now they're really, really loud. <laughs> Or is it just that Mass Effect is really quiet? Hang on. Uh, yeah, Mass Effect's really quiet. Let me turn that up a bit. Not really sure why. What are we gonna tell them? I had a bad dream? We don't know what information was stored in that beacon. Lost Prothean technology? Blueprints for some ancient weapon of mass destruction? Whatever it was. Saren took it. But I know Saren. I know his reputation is politics. He believes humans are a blight on the galaxy. This attack was an act of war. He has the secrets from the beacon. He has the secrets from the beacon. Man, and he won't stop until he's wiped humanity from the face of the galaxy. I'm pushing that joke as far as it will go. And further. I'll stop him. I'll find some way to take him down. It's not that easy. <laughs> Every it's channel different. point just bumps all sliders in OBS 1% up. Yeah. <laughs> That's why we need the council on our side. I mean, at least at that point, if you're getting, like, ridiculously annoying audio, at least you're opting into it. <laughs> uh, yeah, we expose him. We prove Saren's gone rogue and the council will revoke his specter status. I'll contact the Ambassador, and see if he can get us an audience with the Council. He'll want to see us as soon as we reach the Citadel. We should be getting close. Head up to the bridge and tell Joker to bring us into dock. Go. Sure. Uh, but first let's catch up. Hey, you were just standing outside. Didn't ever hear anything, did you? Hmm? Hmm? Commander, I'm glad to see you're okay. Losing Jenkins was hard on the crew, and I'm glad we didn't lose you, too. Jenkins will be missed. Yeah, I wish I could have done something to save him. I was there. You did everything right. It was just bad luck. It's been a hell of a shakedown, Cruz. Our first mission ends with one Spectre killing another. The Citadel Council's not going to be happy about that probably use it to lever more concessions out of the Alliance. You've got a good grasp of the situation. You a career man? 
Yeah, a lot of biotics are. We're not restricted, but we sure don't go undocumented. May as well get a paycheck for it. Besides, my father served. I made him proud when I enlisted. Eventually. But is that why you're here? Because of your family? We were farmers. My family were homesteaders on Mindwar. I'm the only one left. But I've moved beyond that. Oh, that's right, a coos. I imagine that bought you any post in the fleet. Word is we're heading for the Citadel, ma'am. Can you, uh, tell me why? The Captain hopes the Ambassador can get an audience with the Council. Tell them what Saren's been up to. Makes sense. They'd probably like to know he's not working for them anymore. Whatever happens, we'll be ready, Commander. Speak for yourself. I'm never ready. Um, um, I had a thought just now, I know it's gone. Oh yeah, I was gonna say, I really like um, Shepard's like, forehead wrinkles when she like, raises an eyebrow. I think it's cool. Yes, Commander? Is there something you need? Captain Anderson. What do you know about Captain Anderson? I've served with him for a few tours now. He knows when to let things slide and when to crack the whip. The crew knows he's seen pretty much anything they'll ever run into. And he cares about the people under his command. He's a good egg. Go. Goodbye, Commander. I should go. Hey, I'm Ashley. Glad you're okay, Commander. The crew could use some good news after what happened to Jenkins. I miss Jenkins. Jenkins was a valuable part of this crew. Part of me feels guilty over what happened. If Jenkins was still alive, I might not be here. Well, you can deal with that thought by yourself. Bye. Bye. Mass Effect had an expression system ahead of its time. Yeah, because like... Most games, when people raise their eyebrows, it's just like, the eyebrow moves. And then, that's it. I like the forehead wrinkles. <laughs> it's cool. I mean, obviously this has been remastered, but I'm pretty sure it also happened in the original, so... Hey, Joker! Good timing, Commander. I was just about to bring us into the Citadel. See that taxpayer money at work. A new Joker! I like the little triangle on top of the Normandy. I don't know what it is, but it's cool. So many lens flares. The size of that ship. The Ascension, flagship of the Citadel fleet. Well, size isn't everything. Why so touchy, Joker? I'm just saying you need firepower too. <laughs> Look at that monster. It's main trip <laughs> through the barriers in any ship in the Alliance fleet. The um. Citadel Control, this is SSV Normandy. The Ascension kind of reminds me of like a basking shark or like one of those whales that swims around with its mouth open. Roger, Alliance Tower, Normandy out. Normandy, this is Alliance Tower. Please proceed to dock 422. I love docking. Oh, a whale shark. That's what I was trying to think of. Yeah. <laughs> ba -ba. Away. This is an outrage. The council would step in if the Geth attacked a Turian colony. The Turians don't found colonies on the borders of the Terminus systems, Ambassador. Humanity was well aware of the risks when you went into the Traverse. What about Saren? You can't just ignore a rogue spectre. I demand action! You don't get to make demands of the Council, Ambassador. Citadel Security is investigating your charges against Saren. We will discuss the CSEC findings at the hearing, not before. Captain Anderson, I see you brought half your crew with you. Just the ground team from Eden Prime, in case you had any questions. I have the mission reports. I assume they're accurate? They are. 
All right, dude, you don't have to be mean. They were not happy about it. Seren's their top agent. They don't like him being accused of treason. Ooh, a follow. Thank you, Star Skyrim. And welcome in. I appreciate the follow. It's the truth. Seren's a threat to every human colony out there. If they don't stop him, I will. Settle down, Commander. You've already done more than enough to jeopardize your candidacy for the Spectres. The mission on Eden Prime was a chance to prove you could get the job done. Instead, Nihilus ended up dead and the beacon was destroyed. That's Saren's fault, not hers. Then we better hope the CSEC investigation turns up evidence <laughs> to support our accusations. More like Otherwise, you, the Meanie. Council might use this as an excuse to keep you out of the Spectres. Come with me, Captain. I want to go over a few things before the hearing. Shepard, you and the others can meet us at the Citadel Tower, top level. I'll make sure you have clearance to get in. I, I'm always That's like... I hate politicians. I'm always confused about what accent Udin is trying to do. Like, I think he's trying to do a posh English accent, but... Like, it sounds like he's trying to do a, a sort of um, Christopher Lee kind of voice, but... He definitely, it doesn't quite hit the mark. It's kind of funny. Hey, it's these guys. Well, these allegations are very serious. I can this is serious. My reputation is at stake. I spoke with the consort in confidence and her alone, and she betrayed that confidence. Betrayal of confidence? I will look into it for you. In the meantime, do not do anything rash. Hello there, human. Sincere apology, but I am here on business and cannot be distracted right now. You seem distressed. Is there something I can do to help? Alarmed response. <laughs> Immediately getting distracted. <laughs> this is all going so wrong. And it is the Asari consort's fault. She's the one who started all this. Who's this Asari consort? consort? Curious. You have Elcor plushie. Oh, I bet that'd be you good. Must be new to the Citadel. Everyone knows Shatira, the consort. I cannot speak more about this problem. It is too sensitive. Suffice it to say, she has compromised my authority as a diplomat. Where can I find the Sasari consort? She is across the bridge from here. Her offices are easy enough to spot. Good day, human. Good day. More like... Bad day. <laughs> it's been a not good day so far. Hey, Din Korlak. You are in the wrong place, I think. Your ambassador is next door in the large office. Chastising remark. Don't be so rude, Dan. At least introduce yourself. <sighs> I am Din Korlak, Volus Ambassador. Is there something I can do for you, Earth Clan? I'm detecting a lot of venom in your voice. Why so cranky? You seem to have a bit of a chip on your shoulder, Din. You humans are new to the Citadel, and yet the Council has granted you great favor. <laughs> Chastising rebuke, Din. Your species has always been granted many concessions. Volus territory has expanded tenfold since coming to the Citadel. <laughs> ah, so you're a hypocrite. We still have no real say in the decisions that affect Citadel space. Goodbye, Ambassador. I should go. Yes, yes. Good day, Earth Clan. Good day, Remark. Shut up, Din. <laughs> Bing. -bing. Okay, so I have to find CSEC. Welcome to the Presidium. A Yay. To your guide. No.
Hmm, I see leaves on the floor. Oh, from the tree. That would make sense. Allow me to be your guide. Okay, tell me where CSEC is. Welcome to the Presidium. My name is Avina, and I am pleased to be your virtual guide throughout this level of the Citadel Space Station. <laughs> are you real? So are you a person or a program? I am a fully interactive virtual intelligence. Programmed to provide spontaneous guidance at predetermined locations of interest throughout this level of the Citadel. I may also be contacted through any of the Presidium VI terminals, should you require assistance. Okay, bye. Oh, I apologize if you found my service unsatisfactory. Please submit any complaints in writing to the Citadel Tourist and Visitor Board. Blah, 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 blah. To CSEC. Yeah, let's go to CSEC. Down the ramp to your left. Okay. Whee! Summon the elevator. Oh, I have to... Oh, I have to talk to the council first. I forgot. Council chamber. Where that? I think it's that way somewhere. Um. Okay. Embassies, Citadel Tower, and wards. Okay, let's go that way. Oh, whoops. That's not what I meant to do. Wards. Uh, no, I want tower. Look at that bug thing over there. What's it doing? Bug thing. I love bug things. Disturb the keepers. Please do not disturb the keepers. But please do not disturb the keepers. But please do not disturb the keepers. But I want to touch it. I want to poke the weird bug thing. Yay, tower. This is where we want to go. Elevator time. Yeah, I wouldn't trust him, to be fair. <laughs> They're not going to ask me any questions, are they? No, you're boring as fuck. Whoa! We're at the halfway point of Dimension 20. Have a good stream, my Sarah's Lord. hiding something. <laughs> Give me more time. Stall them. Thank you, Mr. Stall Super Freak. Them. Thanks the for the resub. Your investigation is over, Garrus. No. I feel sad about this guy I've never met before. Commander Shepard, Garrus Vakarian. I was the officer in charge of the CSEC investigation into Saren. Uh huh. Now I'm interested. Who was Who that? Who were you just talking to? That was Executor Palin, head of Citadel Security, my boss. He'll be presenting my findings on Saren to the Council. What did you find? Come across anything I should know about? Saren's a spectre. Most of his activities are classified. I couldn't find anything solid. But I know he's up to something. Like you humans say, I feel it in my gut. I think the Council's ready for us, Commander. Good luck, Shepard. Maybe they'll listen to you. I'm gonna be late. I want to keep the Council waiting. I can't be late. For my very important date. I wish I could run for a bit longer. Like, in a normal... Like, normal humans can run for a lot longer than five seconds. Hearing's already started. Come on. The Geth attack is a matter of some concern, but there is nothing to indicate Saren was involved in any way. 
The investigation by Citadel security turned up no evidence to support your charge of treason. An eyewitness saw him kill Nihilus in cold blood. We've read the Eden Prime reports, Ambassador. The testimony of one traumatized dock worker is hardly compelling proof. I resent these accusations. The direct eyewitness. That just let you catch him off guard. Captain Anderson, you always seem to be involved when humanity makes false charges against me. And this must be your protege, Commander Shepard. The one who let the beacon get destroyed. I didn't destroy the bacon, you did. The mission to Eden Prime was top secret. The only way you could know about the beacon was if you were there. With Nihilus gone, his files passed on to me. I read the Eden Prime report. I was unimpressed. But what can you expect from a human? Insults typical. Saren despises humanity. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Your species needs to learn its place, Shepard. You're not ready to join the Council. You're not even ready to join the Spectres. He has no right to say that! That's not his decision! Shepard's admission into the Spectres is not the purpose of this meeting. This meeting has no purpose. The humans are wasting your time, Counselor. And mine. Why do they have to project him so frigging massive? <laughs> That's what... It's like... It... <laughs> Why, why was that a practical decision for this council chamber? I'll find proof. You can't hide behind the council forever. There is still one outstanding issue. Commander Shepard's vision. It may have been triggered by the beacon. Are we allowing dreams into evidence now? How can I defend my innocence against this kind of testimony? I agree. Our judgment must be based on facts and evidence, not wild imaginings and reckless speculation. Do you have anything else to add, Commander Shepard? Commander Shepard destroyed by facts and logic. You won't see the truth. Uh, what's the point? You've made your decision. I won't waste my breath. The Council has found no evidence of any connection between Saren and the Geth. Ambassador, your petition to have him disbarred from the Spectres is denied. I'm glad to see justice was served. Oh, justice. Is that what that was? Is that what that was? <laughs> A mod which gives infinite sprint? That sounds really handy, yeah. I should get that. It made the council question our motives. I know Saren. He's working with the Geth for one reason. To exterminate the entire human race. Exterminate. Every colony we have is at risk. Every world we control is in danger. Even Earth isn't safe. Tell me about this history between you and Saren. I worked with him on a mission a long time ago. Things went bad. Real bad. We shouldn't talk about this here. But I know what he's like. And he has to be stopped. What's our next step? As a Spectre, he's virtually untouchable. We need to find some way to expose him. What about Garrus, that CSEC investigator? We saw him arguing with the Executor. That's right. He was asking for more time to finish his report. Seems like he was close to finding something on Saren. Yeah, let's go talk to him. Any idea where we could find him? I have a contact in CSEC who can help us track Garrus down. His name is Harkin. Forget it. They suspended Harkin last month, drinking on the job. I won't waste my time with that loser. You won't have to. I don't want the Council using your past history with Saren as an excuse to ignore anything we turn up. Shepard will handle this. Poor Captain Anderson. You can't just cut Captain Anderson out of this investigation. The Ambassador's right. I need to step aside. I need to take care of some business. Captain, meet me in my office later. Harkin's probably getting drunk at Cora's Den. It's a dingy little club in the lower section of the wards. Sounds great. Maybe there's another way to find evidence against Saren. You should talk to Barla Vaughn over in the financial district. Rumor has it he's an agent for the Shadow Broker. The Shadow Broker? An information dealer. Buys and sells secrets to the highest bidder. I've heard Barla Vaughn's one of the top representatives. 
He might know something about Saren, but his information won't come cheap. Okie dokie. I should go. Good luck, Shepard. I'll be over in the ambassador's office if you need anything else. I should go. Okay. Okay. So. Hey, it's this guy. You're up to something. Oh, no, I wasn't. Never mind. Um, yes, is there something you want? Why are you so interested in the Keepers? Keepers? I've got no interest in the Keepers. Don't get coy. I know what I saw. I, uh... I'm not so sure I should be talking to you about this. We're just talking. Is there something wrong with that? No. I guess it wouldn't hurt to tell you. I'm using a small scanner to gather readings on the Keepers. So far I've had mixed results. I find it difficult to get near the creatures. Why were you being so secretive about it, though? Well, technically we're not supposed to disturb the Keepers. I don't really think my scanning disturbs them, but the authorities might disagree. I'd like to do it more openly, but it's not really worth getting arrested over. I'll do it. I love the little bug guys. I can help you out. I'm not worried about the authorities. I don't even know who you are. I'm Commander Shepard with the Alliance Military. Hmm. Well, I, I suppose I could use the help. You'll need this. It's the scanning device I developed. Activate it each time you see a keeper. All collected data will automatically upload to my database. I'll even send a few credits your way for each unique scan. Yay, money! I should get going then. Yes, I have much work myself. So long, and good luck with the scanning. Yay, scanning. Okay, uh, right, Garrus time. Don't be ridiculous. The Volus won't be joining the council for years. I'm not so sure. The humans are making a strong push, and you can bet. Where are Garrus? Oh yeah, he's in CSEC. Beep, beep, beepity beep. Elevator time. I can't believe the council ignored all the evidence against Saren. Saren's one of their best operatives. It's only natural they take his word. Hmm. Oh, so now we just chase leads while this smug Turian runs around with his Geth troopers. Yeah. That's politics, Chief. I hate politics. Okay. So... I'm not. I didn't. C-sec time. I told you before, you're not allowed in here. This one believes it has the right. Uh, that's not the right way. C-sec's up here. Random dude just leaning against a wall, as you do. C-Sec, here we go. Wait, huh? Oh, it's under there, isn't it? It's down. I forgot I can't jump. I was like, I'm just going to jump over that wall then. Can't do that. How you holding up, Lieutenant? Not too bad. No headaches worth mentioning lately. Maybe I'm getting used to the strain. Maybe you've just got a good stress release. I know that knocking the geth on their synthetic asses gets rid of my headaches. You guys are giving me a headache. Huh. <laughs> 
Shut up. Okay. Where are Garrus? Where are Garrus? Uh, this way? Hey, you're not Garrus. Oh, that's another elevator to the wards. Okay, I don't want to go that way there. Yet. What about up here? Okay, Jaleed. Let me get this straight. Oh, yeah. Harkening Cora's den. Duh. I am silly. Not exactly. But he wants to meet with me. I think he's going to kill me. And why do you think that? I... I can't really get into the details, but Shorbin will kill me if I leave here unprotected. I can't help you. Not unless you give me something more. <laughs> modded the character to have Edie's face. I... Yeah, that would be yeah. fun. I'm sorry. Then I've got other work to do. But I... But nothing. Don't bother me unless you're willing to give me details. Hey, dude. Hey, I man. know Chorbin. I just oh, talked to him. You're not CSEC, are you? Did you want something? What were you trying to explain to the officer before? My colleague is trying to kill me, and I thought we were friends. How do you know he wants you dead? He's changed. He won't talk to me at work anymore, and he started following me. Yesterday, he followed me all the way home, just waiting for a chance. I don't care what anyone thinks. He wants me gone. I know it. <laughs> uh, what do you need? Is there something I can do? Uh, talk to your friend, maybe? Would you? That's all I want. Someone to talk to him. Tell him to leave me alone. He thinks he can just push me around, but you'll show him, won't you? Yeah, sure. I'll talk to him. Just tell me where he is and I'll go find him. Oh, right. Well, he wanted to meet with me down in the wards near the markets. He said he just wanted to talk, but I know better. His name's Shorbin. He's a Salarian. You shouldn't have any trouble. He's just a scientist. I've already Shorbin. talked to him. That's the guy who asked us to scan the Keepers. Yeah, him. The Keepers? Well, even more reason to go after him. That's against regulations. <laughs> Bastard. <laughs> I see. I better look into this right away. Find out what he's up to. Anything's possible with Shorbin these days. Well, good luck. Good luck. Okay, uh, so I need to go to the wards anyway, because i got to go to Chora's den. Or Cora's den? Chora, Cora? Huh? I don't know. Hey, another keeper. Beep boop. Yeah, modding the character to have um, Edie's face would definitely be a lot more work than it was for LEGO Racers, because with LEGO Racers, it was one texture that I had to model. Uh, and for this, I would have to make an entire 3D model and the textures and rig it. And yeah, it would be hilarious though. It would be great <laughs> running around, it's, especially if the rest of the body was completely the same. <laughs> um, okay, right, so to the wards, which are down here. In light of the recent attack on Eden Prime, many colonial investors are pulling their support for future projects. Proponents of expanded human colonization insist that Eden Prime was an isolated case. Nevertheless, colonist enrollment has dropped sharply. Many colonial proposals are on hold until backers have some reassurance that human colonies will be adequately protected. Okay. 
Oh, this is a nice long corridor. <laughs> oh, I can't even run down the whole corridor in one go. Beep boop. Ah, you've accidentally. I keep like my um my right click finger is a little bit heavy, and I keep like accidentally um clicking it and opening my gun, <laughs> which is not my intent. Big place. That your professional opinion, sir? <laughs> He's right, Chief. It is a big place. This isn't a station, it's a city. There must be millions here. It can't be possible to track everyone coming and going. This makes Jump Zero look like a portage on, and it's the largest deep space station the Alliance has. Jump Zero is big, but this is a whole nother scale. Look at the ward arms. How do they keep all that mass from flying apart? Yeah. The council represents more races than I thought. No wonder they're careful with newcomers. They probably just want to keep everything running. It has to be hard keeping all these cultures working together. Or maybe they just don't like humans. It's not to like. We've got oceans, beautiful women, this emotion called love. According to the old vids, we have everything they want. When you put it that way, there's no reason they wouldn't like you. I mean, us humans. <laughs> you don't take much shore leave, do you, LT? <laughs> All right, laugh it up, Chief. I appreciate the thought, Alenko, but we're on duty here. Uh, I, I, ma'am. I'll walk drag, ma'am. Yeah, you stay at the back, where you belong. Okay. Uh. Yeah, 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 all right. What? I'm Emily Wong. I'm an investigative journalist working here on the God, Citadel. shut up, Ashley. Can I have a moment of your time? <laughs> what is it? What do you need? I've been hunting for evidence of corruption and organized crime on the Citadel, but there are places I can't go. I was hoping you might share anything you find during your own investigation. I can make it worth your time. No promises, but if I find anything relating to your case, I'll inform you. Thank you, Commander. You won't regret it. Yeah. Okay. Beeping. I don't think you like this here. I don't sell this model. Look, I know it was you. I remember your face. Really? That's impressive. Usually, you humans can't tell one Turian from another. This was the place. Now, are you gonna give me a refund or not? We have your proof of purchase. Beep boop. All right, Werner. Wow, it's you. It's me. You're Commander Shepard, the hero of Eden Prime. I am so honored to meet you. Hello. Nice to meet you. And you are? My name is Conrad. Conrad Werner. They say you killed more than a hundred Geth on Eden Prime. Really? They say a lot of things. I was too busy killing them to count. Hey, I know you're probably busy, but um, do you have time for a quick autograph? Sure. Anything for a fan. Here. Thanks. I really appreciate it. My wife is going to be so impressed. I'll let you get back to work. Oh, but next time you're on Earth, I'd love to buy you a drink. Thanks again! What a nice guy. Okay, where is... the club? I think it's this way. Oh, hey, Chorbin. There he is. It's Chorbin. Commander, I wasn't expecting to see you again. Is there something you want? You can start by telling me the truth, Chorbin. I'm not sure what you're referring to. My experiments are... 
quit stalling. Jaleed told us what you've been up to. You spoke with Jaleed? Then you know about the data? <laughs> Not yet. No, but you're gonna tell me everything. You boys can go. Looks like my plans have changed. It's not as bad as you think, Commander. Jaleed and I just got a little... over our heads. Keep talking. The company we work for developed an experimental procedure for use in medical scanners. Jaleed and I saw even more potential, so we stole the plans and secretly developed a tool to scan the Keepers. Can you imagine? A tool that can actually get readings from the Keepers? Okay, okay. What's so special about that? The Keepers are almost impossible to scan, and you can't capture them or get samples. They just self-destruct. After centuries here, we still don't know anything about them. Don't you see? We were the first to scan them, ever. You've seen it yourself, Commander. You know we can do it. Yeah? Why are you trying to kill your partner? I'm not trying to kill him. Jaleed's job was to disseminate our initial findings. But he decided to keep the data for himself. Maybe to sell it. I don't know. Okay, so who is trying to kill him? So you're just trying to get back what Jaleed already stole. We lost our heads. We just couldn't let an opportunity like this pass us by. Commander, if you'll just continue gathering data for me, imagine what we might learn. And you'll stand to make a bit of a profit yourself, remember? Ooh. A noise. Hey, Moonlight System, thank you for the follow. Well, if it'll help further the scientific cause, how can I refuse? Very good. Maybe if you wouldn't mind I love science. Jaleed. The data you're gathering for me is useless if Jaleed won't help me analyze it. Yeah, cool. I'll go have a chat with him right now. Thank you. Well, not right I'm now, but... Standing, Commander. In a minute. After I do a bunch of other stuff. Okie dokes. Cora's den. That's her. Ah. Disabled. Damn it, my shields were disabled. Ah! I'm getting hurt over here. Wait a minute. I can level up. I have so many level up points. Uh, let's have those. Yes. And that one. Unlock all the things. Nice. Cool. It's a bunch of useful bits. Uh. Do, 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 do. Okay. Will do. Uh, can't hit him from here. Shutting them down. Nice to see Caden immediately using the ability I unlocked. I unlocked, which is great. I love science and credits. <laughs> Indeed. Hmm. Well, nobody in here seems particularly bothered about the fact we just had a gunfight outside. Hey, patron. I got business here, but not with you. Oh. Would you like to? Not now. I'm watching the show. Me too. Go away. I'm not interested in talking. Back oh. off, Rex. Fizz told us to take you down if you showed up. 
What are you waiting for? I'm standing right here. No, well, dang, car is dead. Only <laughs> if he's smart, he'll take it. He's not coming out, Rex. End of story. The story is just beginning. Out of my way, humans. I have no quarrel with you. What was that all about? Who knows? Let's just try not to get caught in the middle. Yeah. Don't want to get caught in the middle of two big turtle men. <laughs> okay, Harkins over there somewhere. There he is. Hey there, sweetheart. You looking for some fun? Because I gotta say, that soldier get up looks real good on that body of yours. Yep. It's it's a costume. Drink. Let's see where this goes. You're disgusting. I'd rather drink a cup of acid after chewing on a razor blade. You wow. trying to hurt my feelings? You gotta do better than that. After 20 years with CSEC, I've been called every name in the book, Princess. Don't call me Princess. Call me Princess again and you'll be picking your teeth up off the floor. Now tell me where Garrus is. <laughs> okay, okay, just relax. Garrus, you say? Hmm. You must be one of Anderson's crew. Poor bastard still trying to bring Saren down. I know where Garrus is, but you gotta tell me something first. Did the captain let you in on his big secret? I just need to know where Garrus is. But it's all related, don't you see? The captain used to be a specter. Didn't know that, did you? It was all very hush-hush. The first human ever given that honor, and then he blew it. Screwed up his mission uh -huh. so bad they kicked him out. Of course, he blames Saren. Says the Turian set him up. How'd you know that? You said they covered all this up. How'd you hear about it? I spent 20 years working cases here on the Citadel. People on this station love to talk. Secrets are like herpes. If you got them, you might as well spread them around. That's so gross, dude. You're a pig. Notice that now, did you? Just tell me where Garrus went. Garrus was sniffing around Dr. Michelle's office. She runs the med clinic on the other side of the wards. Last I heard, he was going back there. What do you know about Garrus? Damn hothead is what he is. Still figures he can save the world. Always bucking heads with the executor. He'll pay for it soon enough. The executor loves to put us lowly field agents in our place. Just look what happened to me. Quit blaming others. You need to look in a mirror. You're a loser all by yourself, dude. For yourself. Save your sermons. This ain't no church. I'm hey. out of here. Yeah, good. Go. What a bitch. Okay, uh, I f forgot what he just said. Go to the med clinic. Okay. Oh, six more points. Lovely. And now I have shotguns. Hooray! Fitness. Nice. Save. This music is starting to get on my nerves, so I'm going to leave. It's it's the weird breathing. Maybe it's not true. Harkins an ass. Harkins an ass. All right then.
Harkins and Air. Oh wait, did I did I miss my chance at meeting Tally, or is that later? Oh, it's later. Oh, good. A Solarian excavation team has run into an unexpected problem after unearthing a Prothean dig site. Hanar protesters have blockaded the dig site, claiming that artifacts of the Enkindlers, as the Hanar call them, should not be disturbed. Hmm. Remember to collect a Rex from jail. Uh, oh yeah. Uh. Hey, a keeper. Do you really think we'll find him down here? He always stops in for a few games of Quasar before he makes his drop. Okay, Dex. So, Williams, are you happy you signed on with Commander Shepard? I'm not sure, Lieutenant. Every time I think I have a handle on things, the universe banks hard to port. Well, don't let anybody know. A big gun and a confident attitude will get you through a lot in life. I don't know why you're talking as if you have experience with me. You literally just signed on. <laughs> you just got here. Okay, so... We want to go back to CSEC, basically, don't we? To try and get Rex. You're not allowed in here. This one believes it has the right to move freely through this area. And I guess I'll go back to the wards from now. <laughs> God damn it. Too much running. I wish I could just jump over this um, thing. Oh, wait. I can just do this. Yay, much easier. Okay. Where's Reki? is not here. Am I too early for that, maybe? It may be too early. Oh, I can talk to this guy while I'm here, though. Hey, man. Hello again. Did you have any luck finding Shorbin? Yeah, he has no idea what you're talking I about. Been lying to me, Jaleed. Lying? Why would I lie to you? What about the keeper data? Uh, he told you? I didn't mean for any of this to happen. I was afraid Shorbin would kill me to get the data, so I... Well, I was hoping you'd take care of him. Why would he kill you? I'm scanning the keepers for Shorbin. But you two need to stop fighting. You're... You're helping us? But... Well, if you say so. Well, if Shorbin can forgive and forget, then so can I. I appreciate the help, Commander. I better go get that data analyzed. Hell yeah, you better. All right. I don't think Rex is up here. Narp. Examine all the things. Well, I don't get to use that elevator, I guess.
Okay, well it would seem Rex is not here. So I've got to go to that med clinic. Zoom, zoom. We are here. Nice. Oh, keeper. I didn't tell anyone, I swear. That oh. was smart, Doc. Now, if Garrus comes around, you stay smart. Keep your mouth shut or we'll... Who are you? Let her go. Ah! Damn. Good thing you're a good shot, Garrus. I'm definitely not a good shot. No, my shield's disabled. left? Oh yeah. Gotcha. Hooray. Area secured. Perfect timing, Shepard. Gave me a clear shot at that bastard. Nice job. You took him down clean. Sometimes you get lucky. Dr. Michelle, are you hurt? No, I'm okay. Thanks to you. All of you. Why were they threatening you? Who do they work for? They work for Feast. They wanted to shut me up, keep me from telling Garrus about the Quarian. What Quarian? A few days ago, a Quarian came by my office. She'd been shot, but she wouldn't tell me who did it. I could tell she was scared, probably on the run. She asked me about the Shadow Broker. She wanted to trade information in exchange for a safe place to hide. Interesting. Where is she now? I put her in contact with Fist. He's an agent for the Shadow Broker. Not anymore. Now he works for Saren. And the Shadow Broker isn't too happy about it. Feast betrayed the Shadow Broker? That's stupid, even for him. Saren must have made him quite the offer. That Quarian must have something Saren wants. Something worth crossing the Shadow Broker to get. Hmm. Evidence. Must have something that proves he's a traitor. Did the Quarian mention anything about Saren or the Geth? She did. The information she was going to trade. She said it had something to do with the Geth. She must be able to link Saren to the Geth. There is no way the Council can ignore this. Nice. We need to find her then. Time we paid Fist a visit. This is your show, Shepard. But I want to bring Saren down as much as you do. I'm coming with you. Hell yeah. Welcome aboard, Garrus. You know, we aren't the only ones going after Fist. The Shadow Broker hired a Krogan bounty hunter named Rex to take him out. Yeah, we saw him in the bar. A Krogan might come in handy. Last I heard, he was at the CSEC Academy. What's he doing there? Fist accused him of making threats. We brought Rex in for a little talk. If you hurry, you can catch him at the Academy before he leaves. Move out. Okay. Bye, Ashley. <laughs> I never properly thanked you for saving me from Fist's thugs, Commander. I don't know what would have happened if you hadn't been there. Let me take a look at what you have for sale. Of course. Woo hee! Medical exoskeleton. Well, I can't afford that. Can I afford that? Yes. Plus 1.5 health regeneration per second. Yes, please. Okay. Oh, and I can do things now as well. Uh, RMR. Yeah, toxic seals. 
I mean, that thing. Okay, nice. Let's do a little, uh, okay. That's a, more damage, but it runs out much faster. Okay, do I have any mods that increase accuracy? No, I do not. Oh, wait, I do. Okay, I'll get that one, and uh, both of them, why not? Oh, I can only have one, I guess. Yeah, I can only have one of those. Okay, fine. Well, that helps, I guess. Give him another sniper. Okay. Actually, unlock sniper rifles for him as well. Probably a good idea. Cool, okay, that does it. Uh, anything good over here? No. Right, so... <laughs> Uh, let me check my journal. So Rex is in CSEC. And then we've got Fist as well. Okay, so now now I go to the uh now I go to CSEC and get Rex. Off we go. You have arrived. There he is. Witnesses saw you making threats in Fist's bar. Stay away from him. I don't take orders from you. This is your only warning, Rex. You should warn Fist. I will kill him. <laughs> you want me to arrest you? I want you to try. Go on. Get out of here. Do I know you, human? I like that they didn't even try, even after he threatened him. My name's Shepard. I'm going after Fist. Thought you might want to come along. <sighs> Shepard. Commander Shepard. Shepard. I know a lot about you. We're both warriors, Shepard. Out of respect, I'll give you a fair warning. I'm going to kill Fist. Fist knows you're coming. We'll have a better chance if we all work together. My people have a saying. Seek the enemy of your enemy, and you will find a friend. I like that saying. I think we're going to get along just fine, Rex. Let's go. I hate to keep Fist waiting. Bing bing. Gotta have the alien boys. The cool dude squad. Okay. Every time I visit 
Citadel, c -Sec brings me here for a friendly chat. <laughs> Markets. Arrived at the markets. Ooh, let's see if uh, Rex has upgrades. Yes, he does. Cool. That'll do. Oh, I need to save. I haven't saved in ages. If this is when we see Tally or not. Nope. Must be later. Oh yeah, I think it's after Cora's Den. the bartender. He was cool. JK, I never even spoke to him. <laughs> Hey guys, one second. Yeah. Stop right there! Don't come any closer. Warehouse workers. All the real guards must be dead. Stay back, or we'll shoot. I think you should leave. This would be a good time to find somewhere else to work. Yeah, yeah, right. That's a good idea. Yeah, I never liked Fist anyway. <laughs> would have been quicker to just kill them. Shooting people isn't always the answer. <laughs> oh, Rex. <laughs> well, that was easy, lol. Yeah. <laughs> That's because I put my charm stat all the way to the max. Any pistols that are better than what I've got? That's pretty good. Okay. okay. 
That'll do. Why do I have my... Why do I have a sniper rifle out? No, get back in the cover. I got, like, stuck for some reason. I surrender. Where's the Quarian? She's not here. I don't know where she is. That's the truth. He's no use to you now. Let me kill him. Wait, wait. I don't know where the Quarian is, but I know where you can find her. The well, that's the same thing, isn't it? Only deal with the Shadow Broker himself. Face to face? Impossible. Even I was hired through an agent. Nobody meets the Shadow Broker, ever. Even I don't know his true identity. But she didn't know that. I told her I'd set a meeting up. But when she shows up, it'll be Saren's men waiting for her. You son of a bitch. Tell me where that meeting is before I blow your lying head off. Here on the wards, the back alley by the markets. She's supposed to meet them right now. You can make it if you hurry. Uh... What are you doing? The Shadow Broker paid me to kill him. I don't leave jobs half done. Was I supposed to have a quick time event there? Because if I if I was, it didn't show up. Um. Oh, f I can't believe you've done this. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah, I'm not sure if there... I, th I seem to think there was supposed to be a quick time event there, but it just didn't happen. We don't shoot unarmed prisoners. How many people died because of him? He brought this on himself. Besides, we have more pressing concerns. That quarian's dead if we don't go now. Okay. Let me just slowly make my way around the uh, corner. Oh, I have to fight my way out. the Medigel. All patched up. Get off the floor, you stupid woman. Keep going. Keep running. There we go. Where's the shadow broker? Oh, that just happens Where's if you bring Rex. Oh, no <laughs> never mind then. The no way. The deal's off. Sappiness. Yay. Just set me up. I knew I couldn't trust him. 
Were you hurt in the fight? I know how to look after myself. Not that I don't appreciate the help. Who are you? My name's Shepard. I'm looking for evidence to prove Saren's a traitor. Then I have a chance to repay you for saving my life. But not here. We need to go somewhere safe. We could take her to the human embassy. Your ambassador will want to see this anyway. Hell yeah. We got this. You're not making my life easy, Shepard. Firefights in the wards, an all-out assault on Korra's den. Do you know how many... <laughs> Who's this? A Quarian? What are you up to, Shepard? Do you know how many... <laughs> Shut up and I'll tell you. You wanted proof Saren's a traitor. This is it. Really? Maybe you better start at the beginning, miss... My name is Tali. Tali Zora Naraya. We don't see many Quarians here. Why did you leave the flotilla? I was on my pilgrimage. My rite of passage into adulthood. I've never heard of this before. It is a tradition among my people. When we reach maturity, we leave the ships of our parents and our people behind. Alone, we search the stars, only returning to the flotilla once we have discovered something of value. In this way, we prove ourselves worthy of adulthood. So what's your thing of value? What kinds of things do you look for? It could be resources like food or fuel, or some type of useful technology, or even knowledge that will make life easier on the flotilla. Through our pilgrimage, we prove that we will contribute to the community, rather than being a burden on our limited resources. Okie dokes. Tell us what you found. During my travels, I began hearing reports of Geth. Since they drove my people into exile, the Geth have never ventured beyond the Vale. I was curious. I tracked a patrol of Geth to an uncharted world. I waited for one to become separated from its unit. Then I disabled it and removed its memory core. I thought the Geth fried their memory cores when they died. Some kind of defense mechanism. How did you manage to preserve the memory core? My people created the Geth. If you're quick, careful, and lucky, small caches of data can sometimes be saved. Most of the core was wiped clean. But I salvaged something from its audio banks. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. Ominous camera zoom. That's Saren's voice. This proves he was involved in the attack. Nice. He said Eden Prime brought him one step closer to finding the conduit. Any idea what that means? The conduit must have something to do with the beacon. To do with the bacon. Some kind of protein technology. It's always to do with the bacon. Like a weapon. Wait, there's more. Saren wasn't working alone. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. Who I don't dare? recognize that other voice, the one talking about Reapers. Reapers? Sounds familiar. I feel like I've heard that name before. According to the Memory Core, the Reapers were a hyper-advanced machine race that existed 50,000 years ago. The Reapers hunted the Protheans to total extinction, and then they vanished. At least, that's what the Geth believe. Sounds a little far-fetched. Not far-fetched? The vision on Eden Prime. I understand it now. I saw the Protheans being wiped out by the Reapers. The Geth revere the Reapers as gods, the pinnacle of non-organic life. And they believe Saren knows how to bring the Reapers back. The Council is just going to love this. <laughs> Will they believe it? This is a lot to handle. They might just ignore everything we tell them. No matter what they think about the rest of this, those audio files prove Saren's a traitor. The Captain's right. We need to present this to the Council right away. What about her, the Quarian? My name is Tali. You saw me in the alley, Commander. You know what I can do. Let me come with you. What about your quest? I thought you were on your pilgrimage. 
The pilgrimage proves we are willing to give of ourselves for the greater good. What does it say about me if I turn my back on this? Saren is a danger to the entire galaxy. My pilgrimage can wait. Nice. I'll take all the help I can get. Thanks. You won't regret this. Anderson and I will go ahead to get things ready with the Council. Take a few minutes to collect yourself, then meet us in the tower. Okay. Uh, Tali and Garrus. Yay! Cool. Alright, nice. So much empty space. A thousand of my people could live here and hardly even see each other. Hmm. Yeah, it sure would be nice if the Citadel would give them a nice safe home or something. Mind you, I'm not sure. I think they like moving around, don't they? Excuse me, Commander Shepard. Could you spare a moment of your time? I'll try. Commander Shepard, my name is Samesh Patia. Forgive the intrusion, but I have nowhere else to turn. What do you need? My wife was a Marine. She was in the 212 on Eden Prime. I've requested that my wife's body be returned to me for cremation, but the military has refused my request. Hmm. Why did they refuse your request? There's got to be some reason. I don't know. All I know is that they have declared it impossible for my wife to be returned to me. There's no reason for your wife's body to be held like this. Just wait here. The man in charge of my case is Mr. Bosker. When I last saw him, he was in the expensive bar over there. Thank you for your time. I just want to give my wife a proper funeral and the respect she deserves. Definitely. Definito. I will talk to them. Mr. Bosker. There you are, Mr. Bosker. My goodness, you're Commander Shepard. I am. Your activities made for quite a briefing in the diplomatic corps. Is there something I can do to assist you? Yes. A man named Samesh Bhatia is having some trouble claiming his wife's body. Ah, Mr. Bhatia. A good man in an understandably frustrating position. I wish I could help him. Serviceman Nirali Bhatia died on Eden Prime, as Mr. Bhatia no doubt told you. Her wounds are inconsistent with any type of weapon damage we've seen before. That is why her body is being held. You think that her body might be dangerous or contaminated? No, Commander. Nirali Bhatia is not dangerous. Her body is in fact extremely valuable to the Alliance. The tests we're conducting may lead to better defenses against Geth attacks. Respectfully, Serviceman Bhatia may save more lives in death than she did in life. Hmm. Like... I know I should just go with Samesh and say, return the body, but actually saving lives like that, if that's possible... I, I just... Maybe I should tell Samesh. I'll tell Samesh. Next time you cut up a dead soldier, at least tell her husband the truth. That was just the reaction we were hoping to avoid, Commander. But if you think it will help, tell Mr. Batia the truth. Perhaps he will understand. Please let me know if you have any other questions. Yeah, I feel like... Because, like, yeah, the, um... I know morally her body should be released, but also, I mean, I guess also morally, saving more lives if she's dead anyway. Hello, Commander. Has any progress been made with Mr. Bosker? Will he return my wife's body? They're running medical studies on Nirali. That's why they won't release the body. Tests? They're holding my wife's body for tests. My wife served the Alliance faithfully. She gave her life for humanity. And this is how they repay her. Mr. Bacha, your wife died defending humanity. We still need her help. What right does the military have to hold her body? She's already given her life. She died a hero, Mr. Bacha. 
And now she has a chance to save even more lives. It doesn't matter. She's dead. I just want her to come home. I miss her so much. Let them run their tests. Let my wife save lives so that others are spared the loss I feel today. Goodbye. Thank you for finding me answers. I think that was for the greater good, to be honest, actually. I haven't actually picked that conversation option before. I've normally just rushed in and gone, hey, give the back body back. But, like, yeah, poor guy, but she's dead anyway. And if her body can serve to help other people avoid dying... I think... Like, makes sense, I guess? Right, what am I doing? And the keepers... Uh, oh. Going to this office... Oh, okay, I can do that. And return to the tower. Okay. I can do those things. Is there a fast travel here somewhere? I think it's back up there, isn't it? I wish to run, but I cannot. It would have cost them nothing to have her sprint indefinitely in like non-combat situations, because that wouldn't have affected the gameplay balance at all. Doopy doopy doops. Okay. A gentleman's club, eh? Really? I don't think there's any gentleman in there. Well, oh, everything back to normal. Business as usual. Hawkins back in here as well. Okay, bye. <laughs> Optical storage disk. Take. Oh, sure. I'll, uh, I'll take a easy decryptable wall safe. Nice. Nice. No, I can't actually go through that door. I just sort of suddenly realised I'd never checked it. Go away. I'm not interested in talking. I got business here, but not with you. <laughs> Sorry, I'll get to you when I can. Okie dokes. I found an optical disc. Time to go to the tower and tell the council that Saren's an asshole again. That's the wrong way. It's up here. Come on. Udin is presenting the Quarian's evidence to the Council. I'm always late for these things. The crime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. You wanted proof? There it is. This evidence is irrefutable, Ambassador. 
Saren will be stripped of his spectre status, and all efforts will be made to bring him in to answer for his crimes. <laughs> Fashionably late. I recognize the other voice, the one speaking with Saren. Matriarch Benezia? Who is she? Matriarchs are powerful Asari who have entered the final stage of their lives. Revered for their wisdom and experience, they serve as guides and mentors to my people. Matriarch Benezia is a powerful biotic, and she had many followers. She will make a formidable ally for Saren. I'm more interested in the Reapers. What do you know about them? Only what was extracted from the Geth's memory core. The Reapers were an ancient race of machines that wiped out the Protheans. Then they vanished. The Geth believe the Reapers are gods, and Saren is the prophet for their return. We think the Conduit is the key to bringing them back. Saren's searching for it. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Do we even know what this Conduit is? Saren thinks it can bring back the Reapers. That's bad enough. Listen to what you're saying. Saren wants to bring back the machines that wiped out all life in the galaxy? Impossible. It has to be. Where did the Reapers go? Why did they vanish? How come we found no trace of their existence? If they were real, we'd have found something. You doubted me before, and then I proved yourself wrong. I tried to warn you about Saren, and you refused to face the truth. Don't make the same mistake again. This is different. You proved Saren betrayed the Council. We all agree he's using the Geth to search for the Conduit, but we don't really know why. The Reapers are obviously just a myth, Commander. A convenient lie to cover Saren's true purpose. A legend he is using to bend the Geth to his will. Fifty thousand years ago, the Reapers wiped out all galactic civilization. If Saren finds the Conduit, it will happen again. Saren is a rogue agent on the run for his life. He no longer has the rights or resources of a Spectre. The Council has stripped him of his position. That is not good enough. You know he's hiding somewhere in the Traverse. Send your fleet in! A fleet cannot track down one man. A Citadel fleet could secure the entire region, keep the Geth from attacking any more of our colonies. Or it could trigger a war with the Terminus systems. We won't be dragged into a galactic confrontation over a few dozen human colonies. I can take Saren down. The Commander's right. There is a way to stop Saren that doesn't require fleets or armies. No. It's too soon. Humanity is not ready for the responsibilities that come with joining the Spectres. You don't have to send a fleet into the Traverse, and the Ambassador gets his human Spectre. Everybody's happy. <laughs> Here we go. Commander Shepard, step forward. <laughs> Seems an audience gathers. It is the decision of the Council that you be granted all the powers and privileges of the Special Tactics and Reconnaissance Branch of the Citadel. Spectres are not trained, but chosen. Individuals forged in the fire of service and battle. Those whose actions elevate them above the rank and file. Spectres are an ideal, a symbol, the embodiment of courage, determination, and self-reliance. They are the right hand of the Council, instruments of our will. Spectres bear a great burden. They are protectors of galactic peace, both our first and last line of defense. The safety of the galaxy is theirs to uphold. You are the first human Spectre, Commander. This is a great accomplishment for you and your entire species. Hell yeah. I know that's not true, but hell yeah. I'm honored, Counselor. We're sending you into the Traverse after Saren. He's a fugitive from justice, so you are authorized to use any means necessary to apprehend or eliminate him. Any idea where to find him? We will forward any relevant files to Ambassador Udina. This meeting of the Council is adjourned. Alrighty. I'm special now. Congratulations, Commander. We've got a lot of work to do, Shepard. You're going to need a ship, a crew, supplies. You'll get access to special equipment and training now. 
You should go down to the CSEC Academy and speak to the Spectre Requisitions Officer. Anderson, come with me. I'll need your help to set all this up. So you've been pushing for it for ages and then you're not prepared for it? I thought the Ambassador would be a little more grateful. He didn't even thank you. <laughs> what do you expect from a politician? Come on. <laughs> right behind you, Shepard. Yeah. Nice. Hey, look, there's another keeper. I can scan all the spect all the keepers I want. I'm a spectre. Hee hee. I'm officially cool. Okay. So, speak to the ambassador and up to CSEC and talk to the requisitions guy. Oh yeah, requisitions is down the stairs. Hello, requisition officer. One sec, you up. Commander Shepard here with the Alliance military. First time on the Citadel, that about right? How did you know all that? I'm the CSEC requisitions officer. I need to make sure our buyers are authorized. So. Will you be purchasing anything today, Commander Shepard? Show me what you got. What you Sounds got? Well. Just let me set you up. Oh, this must be a mistake. System's telling me to offer you our select stock. Spectre? Well, I heard about that, but I didn't realize it was you. Sorry, Commander. Just show me what you've got. <laughs> I'll open the rare stocks for you, Commander. Enjoy. I'm sure I will. That's quite expensive. Well, I don't have this much money. I can't afford anything. Never mind. Okay then, uh, there's that reporter in the wards who's probably worth talking to at the moment. In other news, Exogenicorp is still denying reports that one of their survey teams has gone missing in the Hades Gamma Cluster. When asked why communication with the survey team was suddenly cut off last week, company officials refused to comment. I'm sure it's nothing. Okay, where's that reporter? Don't kid yourself. It's there. How would you know? I got a tour. Word on the street is that you've been busy. Congratulations on taking down Fist. I was sure he was a big player in anything going on here. Did you find anything in his office that could help me? Found these. These OSDs might have the information you're looking for. <sighs> you've got Fist's files? This could be even bigger than I'd hoped. Here, Commander, for your trouble. Monies? What would my future cooperation be worth? Say, an interview when my investigation is over? Exclusive? You talk to me before you talk to anyone else? That would be worth quite a bit, and I'd be very happy to compensate you accordingly. Here you are. Nice. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should go see what's on these discs. 
Money. Okay. So ambassador then. Um, haven't been to the to the club yet though. Let's go to the club. Since I'm a spectre now, might as well party. Wonderful. What a guy, huh? You almost never see any keepers in this club. I guess they don't care what happens here. That or the music keeps them away. It's out of my hands, Richard. Yeah, there's a keeper right there. She doesn't want to come. I thought I could like dance in the club, but I guess you can't. It didn't come up. Right, I shall go to the ambassador's place. Oh, I missed. I need to do an ED dancing emote so that I can have um, something for everyone to dance along to <laughs> with when uh, when the cool music happens. Not sure if this is the right door. Guess I'll find out. Oh, I think it is. I hope it is. Hello. Guess I'll just hack this computer since nobody's showing up. Extra mission then, I guess. Oh, that was the right place, but he's not in there. We just check the journal. Oh, Alliance Docking Bay. Duh, I forgot. Thirteen out of twenty. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm already married. I appreciate the compliment Welcome to in a platonic sense. Terminal one. There are okay. many points of interest here, including the Citadel embassies and CSEC headquarters. On the far end of this level, you can see the Citadel Tower. Where the council meets regularly. Goodbye. 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 And I thank didn't you mean to talk to you. Me Goodbye. Leave Please me alone. Bye. Okay. <laughs> I'm watching you. Yeah. <laughs> Monogamy in this economy. Monogamy is where it's at. only afford one wife okay <laughs> that is a joke 
Uh, okay. Later today, Emily Wong investigates corruption on the Citadel and uncovers a full-blown crime syndicate. <laughs> Right. Oh, there's a keeper. I have important things to do. Excuse me while I run straight past you, Ambassador. Um. I've got big news for you, Shepard. Captain Anderson is stepping down as commanding officer of the Normandy. The ship is yours now. She's quick and quiet, and you know the crew. Perfect ship for a Spectre. Treat her well, Commander. You look happy about it. I want the truth. Why are you stepping down, sir? You needed your own ship. A Spectre can't answer to anyone but the Council. And it's time for me to step down. Come clean with me, Captain. You owe me that much. I was in your shoes 20 years ago, Shepard. They were considering me for the Spectres. What happened? I failed. I couldn't make the cut. It's not something I'm proud of. Ask me later and I'll tell you the whole story. For now, all you need to know is, I was sent on a mission with Saren, and he made sure the Council rejected me. I had my shot. It came and went. Now you have a chance to make up for my mistakes. I won't let you down, sir. Saren's gone. Don't even try to find him. But we know what he's after. The Conduit. He's got his Geth scouring the Traverse, looking for clues. We had reports of Geth in the Ferro system shortly before our colony there dropped out of contact, and there have been sightings around Noveria. Find out what Saren was after on Ferros and Noveria. Maybe you can figure out where the Conduit is before he does. Oh, no, the headpats don't work because this game, like, captures all of my keyboard input so the the automatic hotkey thing just doesn't happen um. wait that's not that one there you go head patted myself okay the reapers are the real threat I'm with the council on this one Shepard I'm not sure they even exist but if they do exist the conduit's the key to bringing them back. Stop Saren from getting the conduit, and we stop the Reapers from returning. Gotcha. I'll stop him. I shall not we fail. Have one more lead. Matriarch Benezia, the other voice in that recording. She has a daughter, a scientist <laughs> who specializes in the Protheans. We don't know if she's involved, gotcha. but it All might right. be a good idea <laughs> to try and find her. See what she knows. Her name's Liara, Dr. Liara Tassoni. We have reports she was exploring an archaeological dig on one of the uncharted worlds in the Artemis Tau cluster. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll start there. Sounds like we should head for the Artemis Tau cluster. It's your decision, Commander. You're a Spectre now. You don't answer to us. But your actions still reflect on humanity as a whole. You make a mess and I get stuck cleaning it up. I'll do whatever it takes to stop Saren. Not exactly the answer I was looking for, Shepard. Remember, you were a human long before you were a Spectre. I have a meeting to get to. Captain Anderson can answer any questions you might have. Okay. Bye. My ship now. <laughs> oh my god, it's so loud. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in progress. Decontamination in progress. I heard what happened to Captain Anderson. Survives a hundred battles and then gets taken down by backroom politics. Just watch your back, Commander. If things go bad on this mission, you're next on their chopping block. Saren's out there somewhere, and we're gonna find him. Everyone on this ship's behind you, Commander. 100%. Intercom's open. If you got anything you want to say to the crew, now's the time. <laughs> I'm in charge now. 
<laughs> this is Commander Shepard speaking. We have our orders. Find Saren before he finds the conduit. I won't lie to you, crew. This mission isn't going to be easy. For too long, our species has stood apart from the others. Now it's time for us to step up and do our part for the rest of the galaxy. Time to show them what humans are made of. Wherever Saren goes, we'll follow. Wherever he searches for the conduit, we'll be there. We will hunt him to the very ends of the galaxy and bring him down. This is the most important mission any of us have ever been on. The fate of an entire galaxy is at stake. We will stop Saren, no matter what the cost. Well said. Hell yeah. Captain will be proud. Fancy speeches won't stop Saren from finding the conduit. If we really want to make the captain proud, we better get this bird in the air. Yes, ma'am. I love that speech part. I like that you can... Um, like, if you, if you time it all up nicely, it sounds really cool. It's my ship now. I get to run around and do whatever I want. Nice. And you know what? That's a good place to end it because it's about 10 o'clock and that's when I tend to end the stream. So I'll save things there.